Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Shade Tree Vintage Auto and DD Auto and Salvage in Logan, Utah. And I've had a bunch of questions recently about our yard. And so I'm gonna hurry and kind of walk through and show you guys some of the stuff, give you an update on what's here, what's for sale and all of that, um, as well as some of the information, how to get a hold of us and all of that stuff. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. So I'm gonna start right here with the cars. This is a 69 344 speed dark swinger. This car is going to be for sale. I actually do have a whole bunch of parts that can be purchased with the car, including the eight and three quarter, the four speed, a 69 340, all of that stuff. But as the car sits, there's no engine trance and it has a seven and a quarter. I'm just waiting on paperwork, but it's a factory red, black top, black stripe, pretty cool car. And really like looking here at our yard, with the exception of a few things, this looks like something you'd see in like the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, still have the 69 Charger RT here. That's a 444 speed Dana. Unfortunately for you guys, it's already sold um, and it's gonna be heading to Texas soon. Uh, then I've got the 78 AMX or 77. I can't remember. It's the only year that they made a Hornet AMX. This car is super clean, has a 304 in it, but it's kind of been tore apart on the top end. Super co solid car, really cool project. And I'll get a whole bunch of pictures of this and get it listed. This one is going to be for sale. Um, and it says 77 on the sticker. Uh, and it is a real AMX. Has basically everything that's AMX specific. Interior is actually even quite clean, really. Um, so this one's going to be available. We've got the 66 Fury here. This car actually runs. Has brand new disc brakes, a Leeds kit. It's just never been wired up. Engine trance, all fresh. 391 sure grip it was mid restoration when the guy lost interest that's going to be for sale right in the 10 grand range and i have most of the parts to complete it has some pretty cool american racing wheels um, that could be a fun car like i said 10 grand and it really wouldn't take much to make it run and drive has a title that has a title everything has a title that i'll tell you is a project this is a 66 mercury comet um, this car has a 351 Cleveland in it that's all fresh built, aluminum heads. Ugh. It's been broken. That's all that's been. That's been broken as well. That's it. This has been broken. Like I said, 351 Cleveland. It does run. However, I'm having a hard time getting it to get spark. Transmission supposed to be fresh. All of that has a nine inch. Um, this one also title going to be 10 grand. This Challenger. I've had a lot of people ask about this car. Yes, I did say it was going to be a parts car, which is semi-true, but it's also getting built. Um, it's going to be built by a 16-year-old girl, and hopefully it'll be down at Muscle Cars at this trip in 2024. 69 Dart Swinger. This car is also being built by Kevin. Uh, you guys have seen him help me on a lot of the cars. And then we've got All-In 70 Dart GT. This car is being worked on, being built. We're gathering parts. You already know my 71 Challenger, 344 speed. This is getting built for the Rat E-Body Challenge down at Muscle Cars at the Strip next year. So that one's going to be pretty cool, hopefully. Uh, I've got to get the framework done before I really do anything on it. Then we've got this one, Sassy Grass Duster that we just got. I'm keeping this one. That's going to be my 2025 Mats project. Uh, not entirely sure what's going to happen with it yet, but it will get a 340 as of this point. Um, then we've got a bunch of parts, just random ones. This is the 340 and the four speed I was just mentioning for that car. Uh, I've got this Moulin Rouge 1970 Duster 318 car. This car is for sale. Um, it's actually, I've got pretty much everything to make it correct. Uh, as far as fenders and all that stuff, a lot of stuff going with it. That car is available. Then the 73 Duster, this car is still available. Uh, that one's gonna be right around probably $1,500, $2,000. Just a slant six car, nothing special other than it's just a Duster. This car with the parts I'm providing, I'm thinking 7,500 bucks, mainly because of the color and it does have a fender tag. Uh, the Demon 340, you guys just seen that come in. That's already sold and gone. That car, he's gonna kind of leave it rough, but fix it up, make it really nice, run and drive. Then we got this car, there's no VIN. 70 Dart, 
that's just a parts car parts car dart sport parts car dart parts car valiant parts car barracuda notchback front ends already all sold so that stuff's not available parts car seven dart um little honda trail 90 that i actually have the engine and everything for that somebody's interested in that another 67 dart parts car 67 dart convertible parts car and let me see if i can walk through here without getting stung there's wasps everywhere got 70 satellite four-door parts car got a whole line of 73 four satellite two-door parts cars these cars are all just parts cars i know a lot of you guys are gonna say they're too nice but that's what they are they're parts cars this is a 70 duster 71 sorry this one is obviously a parts car this was a complete car but it's providing parts the trunk pan is coming out of it for that car the front clip including inner fenders are going with the moulin rouge car all the drivetrain and everything is going to my sassy grass car the cowl is going to go with the green duster i'll show you in a minute so i mean it is going to benefit a lot of stuff got a 64 fury it's not a sport fury but it's actually black with red 361 car it's basically complete i have the 361 for it obviously it's a complete restoration project this car probably forty five hundred dollars and i have a bunch of parts in fact i have a whole other parts car that's a four-door that whoever buys this car can basically strip anything they want off of the parts car and take with it for that price uh this is a 71 challenger and it looks way worse than it is it was hit here and needs an inner fender and some framework but i have frames and inner fenders that are included i have a fender that's included I've got a flat hood included, a valance. Uh, the big issue with this is it was a vinyl top and it just ate that roof. I don't know why, I've never seen one that bad. But below is super solid. The trunk floor still has nice blue paint. Um, it's actually not a bad car, really. Uh, this one's for sale, I'm just waiting on the paperwork. Um, you're looking probably in the 10 grand range with the parts that I have for the car. Um, I do have a broken grill that's going to be included with it, uh, but it's it's not bad. Um, like I said, it looks a lot worse than it is. 66 500. This is just a parts car. We've got a 66, I believe, Chrysler 300L. This is just a parts car. Um, it's just not worth building. It's got a lot of really nice parts, but they're just hard to find parts for, so... We'll let some other people use the parts off of it. There's the front of the satellites, by the way. Um, got this Aspen 78 parts car. You can see there's a big bee nest right here in the door. Look at that. They're all congregating. So that's going to be fun. Um, just parts, but you guys can have the bees for free. Uh, got an SRT8 Challenger. This car is the donor for the Roadrunner convertible we're building. It's at Rust Bucket Restos right now. Dave's doing all the metal work. Engine trance is already out of this, but we just have to kind of save it for now for all the computer work or system and everything. But something kind of cool about it, if I can get the door open, it's got the red interior and it's actually not in bad shape. So might try to find something to use that for. Now we've got this dart underneath. It's just the shelf. Um, it's got disc brakes. That's really all this car has. It's This car's pretty bad. Then we've got the 70 Challenger Burn Victim. It's just a parts car and really not a lot, but it's going to provide the fender for the 71 because the front fenders really aren't bad. I'm kind of surprised. Back of the car's toast. Got hot enough. Even the frame is twisted. It's That car's really sad. Got a 71 Satellite. This car is not sure yet if it's going to be a project or a parts, but probably a project. Uh, it's got a Roadrunner hood that's damaged, but something I thought was really kind of funny on it. It has the dual blinker indicator option, not factory, obviously, but that way you will know for sure if your blinkers are on because you'll have the blinker on the dash as well as both of those. If you still have your blinker on when you're driving down the road, um then you're an idiot yeah 
uh, Jeep J20 with a 401. It's just parts. We're thinking about putting that engine in with the uh, AMX. And then over there, there's a Cadillac that's not for sale and a couple 71 Impalas that they are for sale. This DeSoto, this is just parts. Uh, these wagons are just parts cars, mainly so that we have parts for the Max wagon. But if you see anything you need off of those, let me know. The Gremlin here, this car is gonna be sold as is. Um, it's it's kind of rough, but it is a Gremlin with a title. And I want $500 for it. I've gotta make a little bit of money off of it. Um, this is the Belvedere parts car for the 64 Fury. It has a pretty nice front clip. Uh, so that's definitely gonna go with it. But like I said, whoever buys the Fury can take whatever they want off that car. We've got a 50, I believe, Plymouth Deluxe Business Coupe. That car is for sale. Has a title, thousand bucks. 66 Imperial. This car is complete. It did run, but we haven't had it running for a couple years. Uh, that car with title, three grand. We've got this awesome 73 or four Newport. And this one has a title, I believe. I'm gonna have to do my paperwork or check my paperwork. That car runs and drives, but it definitely needs carburetor work. Uh, and it's actually really clean. You could probably just go drive that. We're thinking about keeping it and offering it for lease to like movies and TV productions. But if somebody was interested in it, uh, probably like four grand. Um, we've got the 68 CX that is a major project. It's really rusty in the back and extremely solid in the front. I'm not sure what parts are with it. Um, I haven't went through everything yet. So it will be for sale with a title and everything, but I don't have a price on it yet. I've got to see what we have. It's originally a 440 four-speed Dana, but it's missing all the drivetrain. I do have a 440 and a Hemi four-speed that could potentially go with it, depending on how much someone wants to pay, but I do not have an extra Dana. Um, this is a 2006, I believe. GTO, that is a donor car for a 442 that we're gonna be building. This Corvette is just a parts car. It's, it's really junk, like it is bad. Uh, so if you see any parts. Then I've got Truckville over here. It's all Dodge stuff. Uh, there's quite a few things. So if you need anything, then just hit me up and uh, I'll see if I have it. I got quite a few. Um, the Dakota here is not, that's a donor for another vehicle. Got this sweet 62 Plymouth. That car's for sale, has a title, it does run. Uh, definitely needs a tune up and stuff, but probably in the two grand range with the title. This Tempest convertible runs and drives and it is super solid. It's originally blue. Um, this is a really cool car, really clean. It would not take much to make this a daily driver. Does need interior work and it does need a roof, but that car is so cool. Has a V8 in it. Here, I'll see if I can open the hood with one hand. Um, this is one of my very, very few non-Mopars. Uh, like I said, it's got a V8 in it. Um, and I have driven this around the yard. Definitely will need brake work and, you know, love from sitting for a while still has all the pontiac motor division hubcaps on it but it is super solid i'm gonna be doing a whole video just on that car here shortly one of the other non is a 66 Oldsmobile 442 this is a real 442 that car is extremely solid it is super nice uh it's been sitting for a long time how's the paperwork buckets all that good stuff has the engine, unfortunately, it was left with no hood and uncovered. So, don't know anything about the engine. Um, but this car is gonna be for sale. I'm not exactly for sure on price yet. Still gotta work that out. But like I said, that is super good project. Uh, we've got this little 280Z. I think this is my only JDM car out here. Um, this car is for sale, runs, drives, looking at like 10 grand, has brand new tires, fresh out of a 30 year hibernation, was stored inside until I got it. Um, 
best offer. Like I said, 10 grand is what we'd like, but best offer, fuel injected, straight six, five speed, awesome little car. Uh, then you've got our big pink Polara. Drives. However, it, it doesn't want to run very well right now for some reason. I'm not sure if it got bad gas or what, but um, does run and drive as you've seen in the video. This car with the title, you're looking at probably, uh, we'll say five grand or so. This truck sold, satellite sold. I think this is my only Ford 73 up in Mach 1. It's not horrible, but definitely needs a hood and a deck lid. Um, I may have it sold already, but if you're interested, hit me up and we'll talk. That one has paperwork. 68 Dart. This one's a V8 car. Not sure if it's sold or not. I have a guy that really wants it, but uh, let me know if you're interested and we'll figure it out. The 71 Duster. This car is actually really clean other than, like I said, the cowl. and Maybe the deck lid. If the deck lid's bad, I have the one off of that green car that I already showed you uh, that I'll include with it. I want four grand for it. It's got a slant six, has a title. Really an awesome and great project. Uh, this is a 36, I believe, Dodge truck that is sold. This duster, it's a 72. It's originally the TB3 blue that everybody calls petty and it's not. That car, I had a deal worked on it with a guy, but we haven't ever completed the deal. So if you're interested, hit me up and we'll figure it out. Uh, these are parts that I'm going to put underneath the GTX to make it a roller. Um, I've, I'm in the middle of organizing, so don't judge me for how messy everything is. Uh, just truck Dana. This is going with all of the car. Got engines, wheels, axles, all sorts of parts sitting here that I'm, like I said, I'm in the middle of organizing. Um, red, you guys probably remember that from a video a while back. Uh, that now belongs to Cameron, and he's going to build it. Uh, 727 small block, 440. That's out of the Roadrunner. It has a big crack. That's a 413 HP or a 426 HP. That's probably junk. Um, bumpers, doors, fenders. Like, yeah, lots and lots of stuff. And more stuff that ram charger hood is sold it's supposed to be going overseas um, then in here this one not 100 what's happening with it yet but we've got 70 barracuda body is beautiful on it a lot of parts right here and i have a lot of parts stored in one of the containers got a 68 new yorker this is just being a parts car i've already talked about this in another video um, so unfortunately, actually a lot of the parts are sold off of it. The drivetrain is all sold off of it. And then the rest of the body, as much as I hate to say it, it's going to a derby guy. But if you need anything off of it, hit me up and I'll see if it's still available. Uh, then over here, we're going to go back over just kind of parts. That's a 440. I've got all sorts of heads and cranks that probably just junk because they were stored outside. Not by me. Um, just buckets, totes, pallets of parts, more K-frames. I have a whole bunch more K-frames over there. Those are the inner fenders and frame rails and hood for that Challenger. Bell housing, all sorts of goodies. And we'll go in this one first. Maybe it's light enough to see. So here's the front fender hood for my duster. Then you got like a full trunk pan that might go to my Roadrunner, uh, the Cuda hood, some Challenger parts, rear louvers for my Challenger. I was excited for those. The hood scoops for Allen's car, whole bunch of seats, bucket seats. So if you see a bucket seat that you need, let me know because um, I, I don't really need them so we can sell them. These are all just parts for some of our projects. So. None of the stuff on the shelves here are for sale. Consoles, those are for sale. E-body and 71 through 4B. These are full quarters for uh, 68 Roadrunner GTX satellite. Um, they could be included with the sat or the GTX. 
If not, they'll go to my Roadrunner. And let's go back over here. You'll see there's just stuff piled. A lot of these cars become shelves. Then of course, the six pack Super B and my 69 Roadrunner. Some more parts. And then in here, you've got one 340, see 340. And I've got parts up here, heads, exhaust manifolds, more heads. There's a set of X heads that could be included with the Dart. Um, you've got an 18 spline Hemi four speed, a body and three quarter, that's for the Dart. Uh, this is a 23 spline, another 23 spline. One of those is the A body one for the Dart that could be included with it. Um, just some cases and random stuff. Blocks, most of these are 440s. There's one 400 um, in the back corner, 440, 440. Both of these are 340s and then that's a 318 but it has a four, uh, 340 top end, the J heads and everything. And if you guys are looking for a 440, that's not even close to all of them I have. Um, I have probably 20 more in another container that are anywhere from blocks to complete engines. In fact, there's a complete engine out here on a pallet with a tarp. Oh, also I've got Z bars and other four speed parts. And like I said, I'm still organizing. So everything is a mess. And then over here in the trailer, there's the 440 complete right there. That was a running engine. And he said he blew the transmission up. That has a 727. I believe it's a 67 or 68. I think he said it was a 67 because it had 915 heads. Um, I have everything here, like everything between here and out of the other units to build a 500 stroker out of a 400. Just all sorts of parts. Aluminum heads for a big block. Um, more cranks. These ones are not so weathered. Just a bunch of random stuff. Bolts, random whatevers, wiring, clutches, grills, headlight bezels, jacks, tail lights. Um, that's the console for my Challenger, it's specific for a four speed. Have an 871 supercharger if anybody needs it. I don't have everything, that's all I have. But the blower was supposedly rebuilt. Um, and just some other random. That's for my Roadrunner air grabber stuff. These totes are for my Roadrunner. Those wheels aren't for sale. A couple dashes. Anyway, lots and lots of stuff. Like I said, that's not even everything. I have more at another location and then more at my place. More exhaust manifolds, HP ones. Um, but anyway, as far as visiting my yard, we are open to the public, but by appointment only. Um, and it's Monday through Friday. If I am out of town, unfortunately, uh, there's no way to get in here. Um, so if you want to come see the yard, you're welcome to, but send me an email first at shadetreevintageauto at gmail.com. And uh, we can set up a time. Like I said, all of this stuff is for sale or what I said is for sale is for sale. Some of the stuff obviously isn't um, as it's already sold or mine or future projects for us. But anyway, so that is the recent walk around as of um, September 11, 2023. Oh, and I didn't that one. So that one is the duct tape dart. This one's going to duct tape drags at the end of this month, hopefully for the Battle of the Beaters. Uh, we've got a few things to fix on it since I destroyed the exhaust when we took it to the car show on Saturday, uh, unloading it. But other than that, it's pretty much ready. And uh, I love the Kentucky Chrome and whatnot. So hopefully if any of you guys are down there at duct tape drags, be sure to come say hi. Feel free to lean on the car, do whatever, like, you know, don't hurt it. But I'm not afraid of people leaning on it um, or touching it because that's the kind of show car it is. Uh, but anyway, like I said, if you want to come see the yard, Monday through Friday, usually 
uh, like 8.30 to 4.30, but it's by appointment only. So hit me up, shadetreevintageauto at gmail.com, and we'll set up a time. And same if you're interested in anything, shadetreevintageauto at gmail.com. And that email address is down below in the link. And uh, anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, this quick little walkthrough. And uh, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see more of. Mm -hmm.